So the clock in my hallway got changed over to a timer. I don't know what time it is, but I know how long it takes to walk down the hall now. So I got that going for me. Super busy, again, hopefully that'll taper off now that the last few weeks are over. It's just been a constant just pounding, essentially. But it's okay, I have rice. Now what you're thinking, Justin, that's a ton of rice for one person in one night. Well, fun fact, if I go 30 minutes without eating at least 300 grams of carbs, I will actually die. But not too much happened that I was able to record. We had like, one cool thing that happened was that we had the president of Poland come by. And he was just kind of talking to us about the whole Russia situation. These actions usually don't make headlines, but they show our determination and commitment to securing a more peaceful world. Things going on in Poland and like the history between like West Point and Poland because one of the guys who like built, literally built this place is Polish and apparently he's like a really big deal over there. But I think it was funny that when he took up the Q&A, when he wasn't doing like a prepared speech or anything, he switched over to speaking Polish. So he was talking through an interpreter. It is a fact that uh, as regards uh, that situation... But no one actually saw that coming and they ended up asking super, super complicated questions and like really detailed, requiring like super long answers. The interpreter was like super good at her job, like no one actually knows how she kept up, but it was pretty entertaining to watch. And there was pause. So the aggressive behavior of, let us call them, some states. Can be only one. Simply, we have to increase our level of readiness. Musimy pokazać jako NATO, że jesteśmy solidarni, że potrafimy twardo stanąć i że po prostu będziemy bronili terytorium państw NATO bezwarunkowo. So as NATO alliance, we have to demonstrate our solidarity. We have to demonstrate that we are able to adopt a tough position and that we are going to defend the territory of the allies. And then also I went to Coney Island, which was cool, for like two hours. Smells like the ocean. And I had other stuff planned, but I forgot to film it from this past weekend. So instead, I'm just gonna do an impromptu room tour. Let me get the lights. This is actually the next day because I was gonna film this, but the room was messy and it was late and I was tired. So now I'm wearing different clothes. The first thing you'll see is our coat closet and every single one in the whole campus like of West Point is set up like this. It's a very specific order. You wear this raincoat, then you have your long overcoat, and you have your black parka and your black jacket, and then your Gore-Tex, and then your green fleece, and your bathrobe. And if you look, they're all like properly buttoned up and everything, because they all have to be like displayed as worn. Magnet that makes sure the door doesn't close on itself. These are our first desavers labeled. You'll see these labels like everywhere. They have, like half of our room has these labels on it. Trash can, another trash can. These are our closets. You have all of our hats lined up in a certain way, and then you have our whole closet it lined up a certain way just like in the other closet these are all like as worn so all the buttons are done there's like a tie on the inside of this right here we have something called a BAG drawer which kind of dark but set up in a very specific way it's not really for storing things it's more like a inspection display with bits and pieces of uniforms that you kind of use kind of don't use then we have our two dressers again the labels but mine never closes all the way like every time you close it that see it just opens on its own kind of a pain these are our beds mine's a little messier but essentially this is how they have to be made there's hospital corners in each corner this is folded a certain way 
our pillows are like folded in half and then everything's gonna tucked in and the corners are folded in. This part is like the width of the clipboards we use for our inspection and this is like the lengthwise, so it's like super specific. But this is what our mattresses look like underneath. It's like this weird plasticky fabric awful brick thing. These are our desk setups. Mine's a little messy because I was just using it like two seconds ago. You see I threw all my stuff on my on my chair. All of our books have to be in like height order going down that way. We got two fans because there's no air conditioning in this building and it gets miserable if you don't have those. Uh, here's my stuff. Just some ammo boxes that I took, GoPro, some random boxes that I just kind of keep random stuff in. Something just broke off. A ward tube of sunglasses. I have a garrison cap which is like the old hat that cadets used to wear but I think they stopped doing that like a year before I got here. So funny thing actually, as I was explaining what this was, I just got in trouble because my door is closed because it's currently, oh jeez, my watch is dying, 10.06. And that means there's still 20 minutes that I can get inspected. And so like every day, like my room will get inspected. This is like the inspection sheet. So you can see here yesterday they said, clean sink, lease put away, button up something. But yeah, during that time our door has to be open. And I just got in trouble for it being closed. But anyway, these are what they used to wear. This one's too small on my head, sadly, so I can't really wear it, but I'll find a use for it, I'm sure. These are like all my notebooks, because I write like a ton. It's like the only thing that keeps me sane. This is like my cardboard thing that I have memorabilia of. A museum ticket, I just thought it was cool. It's a letter my sister wrote me when I was in basic. Some old ranks and one, just in case I need it now. This is a really fancy bookmark that my mom bought me. And then, if you want to see outside my room, come on. And here we see the native sea store worker having a cigarette and calling her family. And one thing I love is this thing right here, which is my roommate's guitar, which is impressive because I've never actually seen him play it, which means he actually goes somewhere else to play guitar, which every roommate should do because no one ever wants to hear you play guitar, ever. I don't care how good you are or how good you are playing Wonderwall or Hey There Delilah, no one wants to hear you play guitar.